back in Salt Lake today, still training the new guy. And it's actually fun for me to come back and visit the shop, especially because Curtis is probably the best fitter within the whole company. Uh, he and I today are gonna be spending just a little bit of time refining my pattern. And so if you're not into like really kind of detailed nerding out stuff about menswear and suiting, you probably just want to skip the rest of this because that's what we're going to go into. But one of the things that he and I noticed, especially going back and reviewing my last fit check video, which you haven't seen that yet, go check that out up here, is my back kind of curves a little bit weird. And as a result, the way that that posture affects things, especially because I've got bigger lats than I do a chest and then my hips kind of tilt. Anyway, what it does is it creates some weird drape with my jackets. And so we're going to play around with the fit sample today to see if we can determine some ways to improve on that by the time I make my next order so that I get an even cleaner and better drape along the back of subsequent jackets. So you can see what this process looks like and how this conversation goes as we get really, really fine into diagnosing how to make my suits even better than what they already are. All right. So the first thing with your jacket is the front panel is actually not too bad. It right. looks okay. It does look like your jacket's rotating backwards. For example, if we turn you this way and you look in the mirror for me, you can kind of see that this is the center point of your body and the button is actually pulling up. It's above mm -hmm. the middle part of your body. So we need to rotate, rotate your forward. jacket down a little bit. That makes now, sense. In your case, doing that is actually probably going to mean that we're going to take all of this cloth. There's quite a bit of excess kind of dirty cloth back here. So what is that? Um, this actually, basically what this means is the distance from your collar line all the way down to the vent, mm -hmm. especially, is just too, there's just too much distance. There's too much cloth going around your back. Yeah. Um, this is attributed partly because of your torso size compared to your legs. Um, but I think that this being shortened should clean up a lot of your jacket issues. So that being said, as we uh, as we pull up on this this here, we can actually start to see it really clean up without a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, all this is is just adjusting um, from the shoulder seam how much cloth is coming from the back half of the jacket on the shoulder seam. Now the reason I know it's a posture and not just a back pleat is because it's you can see it in the mirror. Mm -hmm. It's coming up and over and into the shoulders. So we know that, yes, you probably have that be, irrespective of the fact that I have sloped shoulders. That doesn't matter. Irrespective. Okay. Uh -huh. So if we turn to the side now, you can see Look at how clean that how is. How much cleaner that really That's becomes. That's crazy. Um, through, through just pulling up the excess through Look the back side. Now, your waist is still a little snug. Right. Um, it's because it's just it's draping pretty cleanly. Now the interesting thing is this is not as accurate as the actual fitting will be right? because when they actually make it this way, in essence, your chest is actually going to kind of balance out right through here. I actually think it's going to put more on the front side to balance out your jacket. That makes sense. Um, but that being Which said... Which should remove some of the pressure up through here, right? Correct. Correct. Um, the next thing is um, getting the balance of your vents. Now, for your particular body shape, with how, how broad you are through this section, and then narrower through the waist, and then you kind of get a little bit bigger through the hips, it's almost like you need to compensate by opening the waist a little bit more, because I actually think the hips wouldn't flare as much if the waist wasn't as tight. Gotcha. Um, and the way that we can check that out is by opening the front of the jacket, this way. opening the front of the jacket and trying to getting the vents to sit a little bit straighter for us. So now that we've got these pinned down, we can kind of see that there's a little bit of a weird flare in the back, but it actually sits so much cleaner when there's quite a bit more space here in the waist. So you're just keeping it shut just about like that, Yep. and that cleans that up. So now we're paying attention to keeping the front quarters clean, and now keeping the lines of the jacket in, in harmony with both the front mm -hmm. and the back. Again, this isn't a, the, the perfect example for these measurements because we're basically just pulling cloth from the top. Once this has actually been made shorter, I actually think it'll look a lot cleaner. Yeah. Because now we're, it's actually going to pull it from here. It's going to pull it from here. Um, instead Which of just, will clean up a lot of what I get underneath my arms I, I as think well. So Some as well. of that comes from the shoulder slope, but uh -huh. that will clean that up even uh -huh. further. I also think kind of employing um, that spala kamicha mm -hmm. look, you might 
could stand to shorten your armhole half a centimeter as well. Bring it in. Just, just give yeah, it. Yeah, just because of. There's quite a bit of space inside there. In there. Yeah. Um, and I think once you drop down the shoulder, bring that up just a little mm -hmm. bit. This might clean up surely from those gotcha. couple of things. So as you can see, suiting and especially custom is one of those things that, irrespective of how much you know, it's always worth it to have somebody else looking at it with you because they can see things that you can't or your body gets tweaked when you're trying to do things and they're just, it gets you more perspective and it's a better way to do stuff. So right now I am on my way into a meeting with the Utah chapter of the National Speakers Association. Now, I'm not a member of this organization. I may end up being one in the future, but I met one of their members at an open house for one of our stores a couple of weeks ago and he recommended that I come check it out. Primarily so that I could find a bunch of these guys who dressing well is a big part of their job and talk to them about Beckett and Rob and what we do, but then secondarily because I do some speaking and I want to see if joining this organization is something that can help me do better or make more money or get more opportunities and so let's go check it out, see what it looks like. We're taking this thing all the way to the top, baby. That's why I'm not an actor. So the Aussie Siri is here. She's also the lady who did the GPS of TomTom Tom, and she spoke for the first couple of hours. We are now going to dinner and then we're going to do a couple of other hours of business stuff and so far so good. It's been pretty interesting to check this out. It's actually funny I bumped into a friend who I had no idea who's going to be at one of these. We haven't seen each other in probably four years and we go back 15 years and kind of fun to catch up with Preston so I'll make sure I introduce you guys but check out this view from where we are. In fact, there's my shop right down there. Wait, there, right down there. Hi, back and Rob. Hi. All right, so I've known. Have I known you for 15 years, or have I just known Corinne for? This is Preston. Hey, by the way. I'm yeah. Preston. Hey, hey. Have I known you for that long? Or did you've I... known. Uh, you've known me for like 10. Years. Okay, 10 years. That's like nothing, right? Like that... barely any time at all, <laughs> right? We've known each other for 10 years. I had no idea that you were going to be at this. That's right. Very, very pleasant surprise when I walk in and I, I was see also Preston. Pleasant. Right? That was awesome. It was like, very I good. I had no idea. Good. It was really cool. Yeah. Uh, Preston, and I'm going to, you're going to feel embarrassed as I say this, hands down one of the best performers I've ever seen live. And I spent Stop all of junior high it. and high school, shut up, Stop. shut up. He would get me into the music when he would play. It's I awesome stuff. No, you're that. super entertaining. Absolutely. So, where do you want them to go check out your stuff? So my stuff, my solo stuff now is uh, Preston Pugmire. It's on Spotify or iTunes. My name's Preston Pugmire. Pug like the dog, Meyer like the mud. You get it. There you go, right? So yeah, go check him out. All in all, I would say that was 80% successful. It was very entertaining. The networking was good, not only for me, but I think it's gonna be good for Beckett and Rob. I probably just picked up like four or five really good potential clients, which is awesome. There wasn't a whole lot of coaching or really good information as far as like, this is how you book better speaking gigs and this is how you do, but I did walk away with some good information. So that was worth it. I'll probably come next month, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'll see you guys next time.